Well, joining us now is three-time major champion Nancy Lopez. Nancy, I know that you were on site a bit this week in Houston. You got to see Nelly up close and personal, but now that she has won this fifth consecutive win, you are one of very few people that can relate to her and this accomplishment. So just how impressed are you with what she's been able to do this week at the Chevron Championship? Well, you know, not just this week. She's played great golf. Um, I've watched her for quite a few years, just being a part of the Solheim Cup, and she was in my pod. So I got to really watch Nellie Corda play great golf. And I, I was always telling everyone, when Nellie finally realizes how good she really is, she's going to dominate the LPGA Tour because she can hit it. She can putt. Um, she, I, sometimes I feel like I watch myself putt when I'm watching her. Um, it's just, she's just been great all the years I've gotten to know her and I know her, her sister, Jessica. Um, but to watch her the last few years and then today, uh, I know at the end I was kind of laughing cause she said she, she could finally breathe. And, um, I guess I could relate with that, <laughs> but, um, she's just, she's just a great, great player and a great champion. Well, Nancy, you said that you've, you know, kept tabs on her so closely with the Solheim Cup. You know, was there ever a moment when you had met her early in her career that you thought, wow, she's something really special? Uh, you know, it was right at the very beginning when I met her and I got to watch her. Um, and then, of course, I think even getting closer by being uh, her pod leader for a couple years uh, under Julie Inkster uh, with the Solheim Cup. Watched her hit a lot of great shots, um, her attitude, the way she held herself when she was walking down the fairway, uh, had a lot of confidence. She's a little shy. I saw her come out of her shyness today in the interview, and it was great to see that. But um, just being a part of, of her life in golf for a few years with the Solheim Cup, I saw some somebody that was really, really a great player. Nancy, we joked about it last night. If she got to five, she'd tie your record. And it was jokingly say if she gets to six, you're not sure she wanted to do it. But are you reliving maybe some of the memories when you went through that streak watching this as you're, you were on site this week? Well, you know, you, you remember the feelings, absolutely. I don't remember all the golf, but I know when I won my fifth in a row in Rochester, New York, um, of course, there's a lot of pressure. The press asks you a lot of questions and always reminds you where you stand. Um, the people around you want you to win. Uh, I think your support system is what helps you the most. And I've walked with her mom and dad at Solheim Cups while, while I was her pod leader. And they're great golf parents. Um, they just push push for her, pull for her. They, they are the great golf parents because sometimes it's hard for parents with a, a player as great as she is to just let her play. And it, it just fun to, to, it was fun to walk with them. And of course, Jessica, her sister, uh, supports her so much. And it's just fun to see that family unit that I feel like helps her be successful also. Well, Nancy, you talk about that, you know, expectation in the media. You were the face of the LPGA for your entire career. I mean, you are my golf idol. Like, I still kind of am fangirling right now that I get to talk to you. Um, I absolutely just grew up idolizing you. And now Nellie really has taken that mantle um, and be the face of the LPGA. You know, how did you handle that, you know, label, but also everything that kind of comes with it? Amanda, it's tough because when you when I came out on the tour and I started winning, um, there was a lot of pressure, not just from the press, but from my commissioner, uh, because the sponsors want you to play every week. Uh, and you can't do that. It's impossible. Um, so I really felt like I was carrying the LPGA Tour on my shoulders. But it was OK because my tour needed me at that time. Um, the, the players before me pretty much handed out that next generation, the torch, and we had to keep doing everything we could to help the LPGA grow. So I, I, I took that as a responsibility, and it wasn't about Nancy Lopez because there were days when they asked me to do stuff, and I was kicking dirt all the way there, and then when I got there, I had to be nice. So <laughs> it worked out really good. But, um, you know, you just when you're a player of that caliber like, uh, like Nellie is, She's going to feel that, and I hope that she does carry it and realize that she can help this tour grow, bring more people in the gate, and the, pur the purses will grow because that's what I felt like when I was winning, that it was that I had to do that so our tour could grow and that our, pur our purses would grow. And if I could bring one more person in the gate, that's what I wanted to do. 
you know, all the great accomplishments you accomplished in your career, where does the streak of five in a row, uh, where does that rank for you uh, personally, on a, more on the personal note? Well, it was probably the most nerve wracking um, time of my mm. career, trying to win when I won one and then two and then three I started to get really noticed by the press even more so then four I remember I think it was at Colonial they put my name on the board at the PGA event there and so um, you know just just trying to you know keep playing and and be a part of what was happening it was a lot of fun though I mean I was 20 years old and um, you know trying to 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 play my best golf but like I said it was very nerve-wracking I would rank it probably, um, I'm going to go with uh, being the captain of the Solheim Cup as being my number one uh, really great win, even though I wasn't playing on it, um, to have the great team that I had and to be a, a captain of a U.S. team. Second would probably be um, the, the my first tournament win, and third would be the five in a row. Well, Nancy, we really appreciate you taking the time, and I'm sure that Nellie Corda also really appreciates the support that you've given her. I know that you always text her when she wins, so I know you've got some texts to send, but Nancy Lopez, now one of three players to win five consecutive wins on the LPGA Tour. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations to Nellie. What a great player. It was fun watching her today. And as I did uh, send something out on X, she's such a great champion, but she keeps that humbleness, too, and that's so important.